Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome back. So today is my little brother's 20th birthday, so I guess he's not so little anymore. But today we're going to be celebrating by going out shopping and going out for a nice dinner. And I thought I would just film the getting ready process. And you guys love my everyday look, so why not? So before we get into today's video, I'd love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It means so much to me and let's get to it. So I'm first going to apply some primer and I want to use this one again, the Tatcha the Silk Canvas, the liquid version. So I'm gonna take a good pump of that. This is my second time using this one and I already like this version a lot more than the solid form. I never really liked the solid form for some reason. It just didn't work really well. I thought it made my skin look a little bit weird, but this one just looks nice. <laughs> Now for my foundation, I want something I can rely on, and this is the one that I've been relying on recently. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I use two shades depending where my skin's at. I use either 5.9 or 4.5. I'm going to go with the shade 4.5, and this is a NARS brush. It doesn't have a number or anything, but it came out in one of the recent collections, I believe. And since today is going to be very, very warm, I'm going to be spraying my face throughout the makeup application with some setting spray. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. So now for concealer, I'm going to be using the Oma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer. I'm using Fair Lady T1. Now it's time for this Pat McGrath under eye blurring powder. Now to bronze, I'm going to be going in with my Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade Butta Biscuit. I'm finding it hard to believe that my brother is 20 years old. It's really weird. <laughs> Feels like life is going fast right now. It's weird, I don't like it. But it's exciting because he's going to be moving in with me temporarily because my parents are doing like a full house renovation soon here. So he's gonna take up my basement for a couple of months and I am very, very excited. I have not seen him like at all this summer. He's just been working at the golf course and I'm excited to spend more time with him again. This was such a great decision. This color is perfect for where my skin's at right now. Now for my highlighter, I'm going to be using MAC Hush. It's a cream color base. This has been heavy on my mind recently. I'm really ready to get more tattoos. <laughs> I took like a three or four year hiatus from getting any more. When I was living in Vancouver, there was a tattoo shop like right down the street from my apartment. And I feel like I would go when I was just bored and just get random tattoos. And I miss that and I want more. I've been planning a few for a long time, kind of bigger pieces, and I've just been waiting to see if it's something that I actually want and if it sticks with me. And it has for the last two to three years, so I think I'm gonna bite the bullet and just get it. I'll definitely vlog when the time comes, but I'm just in the process of finding an artist, which is so hard and it gives me so much anxiety. It's just kind of stressful because it's very permanent, obviously, and I want it to be perfect and exactly what I'm envisioning. That's what's been happening here. Whenever I have time, I'm looking at tattoo artists. It's really exciting, but nerve-wracking at the same time. Now for my blush, I'm going to be using the Melt Cosmetics Sand Deep Cheeks Cream Blush Light, and this is a Quo Beauty Foundation brush. I thought this was a different color. I don't know if that's what I was wanting today. It's far too orangey peachy for what I had in mind. I'm gonna try to take that down with my foundation brush. Since I still have that orangey peachy hue, I'm gonna try to add this Fenty Beauty Rose Latte color and hopefully the two shades together will kind of create what I had in mind. It's always the days that I'm pressed for time that I mess up. <laughs> always happens that way. That's better. I think my camera is slightly overexposed, so sorry about that. I think it was still okay. Um, you can still see things, but this is better. You can see the colors more accurately. I was wondering what was going on. I was like, I have neon orange cheeks <laughs> in my viewfinder. Now, I wanted to add faux freckles today. It's been a while since I've done this. I'm just in the mood for a few faux frecks. Q 
cute. I haven't done that in so long and I don't know why. So now I'm just going to pop off camera and do my brows real quick. And these are the products I'm going to be using today. The Kosas Brow Pop in the shade Brown Black and the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Black. So while I'm doing that, please enjoy the intermission. Okay, my brows are on. I'm feeling better and better as we go on. I'm liking how things are going. And yet again, I'm going to take some setting spray before I go into eyes. I don't like spraying setting spray after eyes because I always find that it creases my eyeshadow no matter what. For my eyes, I wanna do something very, very, very soft. So I picked up my Nabla Side by Side palette. I haven't used this one in a hot minute and I miss it dearly. So I think I'm just gonna use like these two boring shades right here, Half Time and Beauty Mark. I'm gonna start with Half Time and I'm gonna put a little bit of this in the inner corner and on the outer as well. And I'm gonna grab a different brush to put some in the crease. And I'm just gonna flick my brush out from my crease a little bit just to elongate my eye. I don't do this often enough. I feel like it looks really, really nice. I look at where my crease is and then I go straight out from where it ends. And then it creates a really nice shadow. And I just took the babyest amount of that and I'm just gonna feather some in the crease to add subtle definition. And I'm going to take a little bit of Beauty Mark and I'm just gonna add this on the outer, not on the inner. And I'm going to sweep the shade Half Time on the outer portion here. And I'm also going to kind of contour my eye bag. Last thing I'm gonna do with shadow is take a flat fluffy brush and I'm going to take the shade Bonjour. I'm just gonna put that in the center here to kind of set it and highlight it without adding any shimmer and I think I want to create like a little mini mini wing I don't want to like wing it out for real I just want to put it on my lashes right here to enhance the lash line and I'm going to use this ColourPop pencil it's in the shade Sunny Veil and I'm going to take this itty bitty brush this is the angle eyeliner from Moda it's so 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 small and cute and I'm just gonna work off the pencil here I always go cross-eyed when I try to show you guys what I mean actually nervous because I think this ColourPop pencil is kind of old it feels kind of dry and crusty So here's a good look at the eyeshadow look, just very simple and soft. I think this would be really cute for a wedding, it's very just naturally enhancing. But now I'm just gonna quickly apply some mascara. I'm going to use my Bite Beauty Upswing on my top lashes and the Glossier Lash Lick on my lower lashes. And I'm going to add a touch of highlight right in my inner corner. I just grabbed a random one from my drawer. This happened to be the Natasha Denona. I need a nude highlight. Okay, now let's move on to lips and then we're finished. I think this might be my new everyday eye look. This is really nice. I'm first going to line my lips with the Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine Lip Liner. And I'm just running my finger along the edges so it's a little bit more blurred. I might go in with a little bit of this Devoted to Chili shade from MAC. It's the Powder Kiss. And here is the makeup all done. I think this is going to be my new everyday go-to. I just love every aspect of it. I like how that shadow defined my eyes today. I really like it and the faux freckles are so so cute i think that helps with the whole thing that is all from me today you guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give this video a like it would help me out so very much 
I'll make sure to link all of the products I used in today's video in the description down below as always, and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.